Well, it's October, which means I've arisen from the crypt and I'm here to uh, grace the internet with my uh, presence. Congratulations. You know, I feel like I've talked about this before about, you know, it's never too late to try again or start over. And you know, that is just so true. Um, but I feel like there's just so much pressure to get everything done when you're young, to go to college right out of high school and start your career and, and do all your traveling and do all that while you're still in your early 20s. And after you, after that, it's just, it's too late to go to school or start a new career, you know, just start a new path in life, a relationship, education, career, you know, whatever. And that is just such garbage because not everybody gets that opportunity when they're young to pursue these things, uh, be it school or, or kids or traveling, you know, whatever it is, we have to work or, or health or whatever the case is. Um, but then it's like, we're all just so complacent with it's, it's over now. You know, I'm, I'm 30. I can't, I can't do all this. I can't go see these places and, and start a family. And I just think that is such garbage because when you're young, you're stupid and, uh, the average person poor. So it's hard to achieve all of these goals and dreams, um, and if you do, that is fantastic, you know, that's that's awesome. And if you don't, it's still fine. Um, doesn't mean you wasted your life or your youth or your time or money, you know, whatever. Because um, I have felt that way starting, you know, going back to school later in life um, and trying to start a whole new new career and learn all this new complicated stuff that a younger person born into this type of technology and whatnot probably better suited for but you know that that's not gonna stop me that's not gonna discourage me because I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna learn something new and I'm gonna try something new and then have this new opportunity have this new path and and better my income and better my livelihood and and pursue traveling and, and all of these things that of course I wanted to do when I was younger like we all do and didn't get the chance um but too many people i feel get discouraged by that mindset of it's it's too late and you're too old and you should have done that 10 years ago and should you absolutely you know the sooner you can get on it the better but it is honestly never too late so don't be discouraged don't let anybody tell you otherwise people social media whatever it is never too late to start over all right so it's time once again for the usual october question what is everybody's uh, plan for Halloween? What's uh, what's going on? We're doing parties? We staying in? We handing out candy? Last year, cool guy and I just handed out candy because we're uh, lame and old. So kids, that's what you have to look forward to. You think it's all gonna be parties and fun and dressing all skanky? No, there's gonna come a time when you stay home in your PJs and you hand out candy to children and go to bed at nine. So, what's new? As for what's new with me, absolutely nothing. I bought a hearse. That's that's pretty cool. It needs some work. So, uh, y yeah. Bought a hearse. It's got a casket inside. It's pretty creepy. I thought I was, I thought I was metal enough. I thought I was cool enough to have this hearse. I'm so god I have a hearse. I'm terrified when I go out in the mornings, um, and it's dark out, and I'm going to work. I have to walk past it to get into uh, to my car, and it's terrifying. I'm afraid there's going to be somebody jumping out, scaring me, like a, like a corpse, like a skeleton, because it's a hearse. Yet tell me why I immediately said we should play with the Ouija board in the haunted scary hearse. Seems counterproductive. I thought I was cool enough. I thought I was dark enough. I thought I'd listen to the cure enough. I was wrong. Y'all believe in Ouija boards? Mine came from Toys R Us and Glows in the Dark. I don't really take it that seriously, but everybody I mention having a Ouija board too, they're like, oh, I don't do that. Oh, that's scary. Oh, you're gonna summon demons and world domination. And I'm just like, so it sounds like an average Tuesday to me. But that could be because I was raised by a man who's in the OTO. 
Hmm. I'm not gonna play with the Ouija board in the hearse. That does scare me. Real world things uh, terrify me. You know, bad guys and murderers, but I'm I'm prepared for that. Me and my nine friends currently, if you know what I mean. Uh, so that I can handle, but ghosts, demons, things like that, I'm not really sure I'm equipped to fight that. I Like, do I call a priest? Do I perform an exorcism? Sage? Holy water? I'm just gonna soak bullets in holy water, and that should, uh, that should get the job done. No, wait, that's vampires. I don't think I have a vampire problem currently. And I don't need silver bullets because I also don't have a werewolf problem. Jupiter, though, has like over 72 moons, so... Talk about a werewolf problem, am I right? Oh, maybe just call like a necromancer. Where am I going to find one of those at this hour? I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but there's some sound, like power tools or something, and that terrifies me. Uh, like saws, chainsaws, um, and that's kind of what it sounds like over there, so I feel like, I feel like this might be it for old Deadly. You see that smoke? Yeah, there's something going on over there. They're probably just digging, you know, c cemetery stuff. But in my mind, it's power tools. It even kind of smells like it. So I'm going to do the opposite of what they do in horror movies, and I'm actually going to walk away from the sound instead of investigating it. I feel like I've probably told this story before about why I don't like chainsaws and power tools, especially at haunted houses. And it's because when I was really young, I told my dad to scare my sisters and I. You know, we were small kids. Like, oh, give us a, give us a scare. And this man busts through our bedroom door with a chainsaw, waved it around over his head, like, like a, a live one with a chain on it, not a prop, and rushes into the room. And, well, naturally we thought we were going to die. So I feel like I have some, uh, have some residual trauma from that. Maybe just like a little bit. Is that normal? Honestly though, that's, that's a funny subject because lately I've been thinking about stuff from like childhood and growing up, or talking about it like it's normal and then I, based on the looks of, you know, cool guy or whoever else, I then stop and I'm like, wait a minute, that's actually, that's actually kind of messed up now that I'm saying it out loud. But you know what? It made me funny. That's all that matters. So I almost walked into these deer when I wasn't looking. Um, just hanging out. So that's cool. I'm one with nature now. Well guys, we laughed together, we cried together, we shared stories, and we walked around the cemetery. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm just tired. That's it. I'm winded. So, uh, be sure to like, follow, subscribe on all platforms, Deadly DeVille, and uh, tune in next time. And I'll tell you about the time I had to compete in a dance-off against villainous gypsies. Later.